Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be launching Tesla Roadster at our planet Earth. Imagine what would actually happen if it did one day collide with our planet and potentially cause some devastations. But specifically, we're going to be talking about this beautiful car traveling close to the speed of light and colliding with our planet. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So here we are traveling toward planet Earth at the relative velocity of approximately 10 kilometers per second. This is basically as if Tesla Roadster literally fell from the orbit onto the planet Earth and was basically in free fall for most of its ride. Uh, in this case, it's actually not really as reali uh, realistic because currently Tesla Roadster is moving faster than that. But let's see what would actually happen if it just fell onto Earth literally uh, sideways. So in this case, it's probably just going to kind of splash down and you'll see absolutely no difference with our planet Earth. All right, well, that wasn't really as fun. So today we're going to just accelerate the speed of Tesla Roadster until things will st basically start happening to our planet. And now let's basically just start launching Tesla Roadster toward our planet at different velocities, starting with maybe pointing somewhere at the South America here because um, I've done these videos before where I'm actually colliding um, things with our planet Earth and every single time I happen to hit a country where one of you wonderful people is from and in a lot of those cases people actually kind of get upset that they destroy the country so I decided I'm just gonna do this randomly now we're gonna be destroying random countries with no prejudice everyone is going to be basically kind of destroyed my apologies in advance all right uh, on this uh, somewhat uh, crazy and unpredictable note Let's actually launch our first Tesla Roadster moving at a speed of about, um, well, really closer to maybe 30 kilometers per second, which is slightly more realistic to the speed it might be actually uh, moving at if one day it does approach Earth. Uh, it would be anywhere between 15 to 30 kilometers per second, depending on the angle of approach. So here we're just going to let it go. And I think... I think it's there already. I think it's done. I think nothing actually once again happened. Yep. So uh, at this speed, the, the car just kind of basically evaporates in the atmosphere and you notice no effect whatsoever. All right, well, how about if it was actually moving at the much, much higher speed of about uh, 70, 60 to 70 kilometers per second, which is actually uh, the speed of most particles during the um, asteroid showers or meteor showers. Um, so meteor showers are basically remainders of um, various comets that passed in the same region of space as our planet Earth. And those comets were moving way, way faster than a typical asteroid uh, in relation to our planet Earth. And so the remainders of those comets are also moving at a way, way faster speed. So here we're going to launch one more Tesla Roadster, maybe the accelerate time just a little bit so we can actually see it in action and uh, just observe as our beautiful planet gets sort of collided with this beautiful car. All right, here we go. And three, two, one, and collision. All right, well, so this would probably cause a little bit of destruction on the, on the surface. We might actually take like a few um, houses down even. It might be a, a pretty big explosion as a matter of fact, because as something moving at this speed hitting the planet head on uh, even though it does kind of more or less evaporate in the atmosphere, we'll still have something left that smacks into the, uh, into the actual ground relatively fast. So the kinetic energy produced here is still pretty high. But not as high as, as if we were talking about speeds of thousands of kilometers. So, let's imagine for a second that uh, for some unknown reason, Tesla Roadster actually passes by some sort of a black hole somewhere and get slingshot into a velocity of close to about a thousand uh, or several thousand kilometers per second. Now this would be an object that's basically um, moving so fast that it would actually escape our galaxy eventually. It would fly out of the galaxy and move into the direction of a, another galaxy. In other words, this would make Tesla Roadster completely intergalactic. Uh, so in this case, as it approaches our beautiful planet, it's going to have a tremendously more powerful uh, amount of energy. 
in, in this case, you're, you're basically using the formula mv squared to calculate the amount of energy. And since v is the thing being squared, the higher the number, the more um, parabolic and more dramatic the increase is. So the difference between 7,000 kilometers per second and the energy produced and 1,000 kilometers per second and energy produced is not actually seven fold or not seven times bigger, but 49 times bigger because here squaring this will give you a much, much, much bigger number. So in this case, if I were to essentially move this car at this velocity, you would kind of expect things to pick up pretty quickly. So here the energy is equivalent to a much, much larger collision, a much larger piece of rock or something colliding with the planet. And as you can see, it did produce a slightly bigger bang or a tiny fragment, basically. That's actually was converted into mass. So all of this energy we just produced was actually uh, massified. It, it turned into mass of um, this many kilograms. Now that's actually a game feature, or I guess you could call it a bug, uh, but it essentially produced a tiny, tiny piece of rock from all of the energy we created from this collision. All right, well, oh, then there's also an explosion on the other side. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, I didn't actually see this. Uh, so at the same time, there is a tremendously um, powerful explosion, which I think is uh, or was created by this unusual collision with the planet. And I'm not entirely sure how it went through the Earth and basically uh, came out on the other side and then collided there, but it did happen. All right, so that's a good start. So this was basically moving at several thousand kilometers per second, and uh, this would be equivalent to a very, very, very large rock um, colliding with uh, our planet Earth at a much, much slower speed. All right, well, that, that was awesome. But now let's actually choose a slightly different location and do this again, but this time uh, moving very, very close to the speed of light. As a matter of fact, we're going to be moving uh, at just a fraction below the speed of light. And just because we don't really want to hit anything important on Earth, we're going to be aiming right here at the ocean. So let's uh, pick the uh, Tesla Roaster again. I'm going to choose the launch function and move at the speed of close to speed of light. Not exactly speed of light, but very, very close to it. And so this will actually be a very, very, very different environment where we're now producing so much energy simply because of the actual speed involved, which in essence uh, creates a lot of relativistic effects that basically add to the amount of energy that's being produced here. Now, uh, at this point, the car is moving so fast that it's literally going to pass through our Earth completely and uh, the atoms between the, the actual car and the planet will not even interact until further down into the center of the core. So in other words, this is going to be kind of like a laser shooting through the planet, but the energy uh, that is delivered is still going to be there. And the amount of energy delivered to the planet right now is going to be ridiculously high. Now, there's really nothing that we can think of that's large enough, uh, like in terms of car sizes, uh, that's moving toward us at this speed. So this would actually have to be um, a collection of particles, like for example, from a supernova, kind of like um, cosmic rays that somehow get clumped together and essentially created a mass equivalent to a car. Now, for this to happen, you would need to have like billions and billions and billions of years and it'll have to be pure luck and pure statistical coincidence where you somehow have these um, cosmic rays arrive at the same time. So for this to happen, it's very, very unlikely. But if it does happen, this is essentially what would occur. You would have a tremendous amount of mass suddenly moving at uh, or basically into, the, into our planet at a ridiculously high speed. Now, in this case, you would expect a lot of things to kind of go wrong for our planet. Because, as you'll see in a second, the energy produced, and it literally just went through the planet, uh, which is kind of a bug in the game, but it's also actually what would happen. Um, the energy produced here is going to be so high that this will um, most likely start kind of, sort of, boiling the planet from the inside. Right around here, there we go. Uh, right from sort of the area where we collided um, our car with the planet, th this basically starts forming this tremendously large 
uh, almost like a collision effect, but it's really just kind of boiling from the inside and is exploding from the inside because of the tremendous amount of energy that just arrived to the planet. Now, um, in terms of the actual energy created, it would be um, basically the biggest nuclear bomb ever exploded. It's going to be a tremendously, tremendously powerful impact. But it wouldn't be like a typical asteroid impact because it would actually go through the planet, through the atmosphere and through a big chunk of the planetary uh, surface as well. Uh, but um, to basically calculate the actual mass and the, uh, not mass, but the, the energy created from all the mass colliding, um, you would kind of use similar formulas to uh, calculate nuclear bombs. So basically here it's E equals MC square because it's very, very close to the speed of light not very far off from, from the actual speed of light. Um, and as you can see, it did produce a tremendously large explosion. As a matter of fact, this is actually even bigger than some of the biggest craters that we have on the planet uh, that were formed through billions of years of collisions, but at much, much lower speeds. And so if you kind of look from the side, you'll see that it's actually sort of a, a literal crater. It actually goes inside a little bit. And so, in essence, moving close to the speed of light, or really at the speed of light, uh, the Tesla Roadster would become so, so powerful um, in terms of kinetic energy that it would just completely obliterate the world. Now, let's go for a bit of a science fiction and give it, like, I don't know, 10 speeds of light. Let's see what happens if it actually collides at even higher speeds. So this is uh, physically and theoretically impossible, but it is possible in a game. And let's see how game handles it if we actually collide it at a much faster speed. So here we go, one, two, three, and, oh, okay, that was way too fast. Let's do it again, a little bit slower. Whoa, this was so fast that it already actually exploded again. Okay, so looks like because I'm moving at a much faster speed, I actually have to decelerate my time even more. And yeah, there it is. There is that Tesla Roadster coming toward our planet ridiculously fast. Um, and we just need to kind of nudge this just a little bit for it to start accelerating the game. And it looks like the, uh, there's so many things happening already that the game is having trouble simulating this. Uh, so we're gonna have to remove all the fragments we just created um, and try to do this one more time, but actually uh, maybe accelerating the game just a little bit. Here we go, this is perfect. So now this is 10 times the speed of light um, practically impossible, but let's see what actually happens in terms of the energy generation. Slow down just a little bit. And here we go. So this is, uh, this is even crazier than before. And um, looks like it just kind of went through. Now, I wonder if it's actually going to start forming some sort of a um, layer again. And it looks like, yeah, there's just a tiny spot right there that started appearing. Uh, which is something that I didn't realize would happen. But there we go. That's the collision at 10 times the speed of light. Uh, and I'm guessing it produces uh, about 100 times more energy. At least that's what you'd expect. Even though we don't really um, consider the relativistic effects here. Because uh, we don't have any ways of calculating relativistic effects for uh, objects traveling faster than the speed of light. Because once again, theoretically and physically impossible. But in the game though, it is possible. And look at the size of that explosion. Whoa, okay. That is way, way, way more powerful than anything that I imagined before. So if traveling at one speed of light basically created this little thing, this is what would happen at uh, 10 times speed of light. Essentially eliminating uh, any kind of life on the planet now. Well, that's all I wanted to do in this video and hopefully you learned something from it. And now you know what happens to things when they collide with Earth and really anything else uh, for that matter, moving at a very, very, very fast velocity, but specifically Tesla Roadster, the beautiful car that's now in space, traveling farther and farther away from Earth. Anyway, come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.